Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is a very small tutorial on uh, how we can actually manipulate or or control uh, or change the local rotation axis of a of a joint chain or or a particular single joint. So I have seen a lot of people have a very basic question regarding this, and uh, sometimes they have. Uh, literally messed up with their local rotation axis and let's see how we can manage those and how we can change uh, the local rotation axis of any kind of joint or joint chain okay i have created a very simple joint system over here one is you can assume this is a spine joint this is a clavicle and this is, these are the hand joints so you can see it has a very straightforward and a very simple joint uh, local rotation axis now if uh like case of a uh, if you creating any kind of a joint chain you have to consider or you have to maintain one single uh, axis towards your uh, child like here I have maintained one single uh, yeah, uh, one single axis towards child that is the X X is always uh, you know uh, facing towards this child you can see this uh, this this joint X here you can see this uh, X is actually facing towards this joint is but this child joint and the same things over here also but sometimes it's uh, happened that uh, uh, accidentally we have changed our uh, local rotational axis or something now how we can manage those uh, this is the end joint and you cannot uh, help it out because it's a uh, it don't have any kind of child so that's why it's uh, going absolutely abrupt uh, according to the world axis so <coughs> the the parent the extreme parent sometimes okay so yet i will i'll show you how to how to uh, manipulate these these joints also okay now to start with this uh, particular uh, joint chain i just want to switch on to show you the exact way to see the uh, local rotational axis for that you have to go to the component mode switch on to the component mode over here fine and after that you just uh, integration sign the question mark over here select the miscellaneous components of of your object just select on it and immediately you can see your uh, local orientation axis uh, will be shown and you can see it's a it's a kind of a mess uh, in few areas like uh, this top joints is not actually uh, you know maintaining the same coordinates as my entire spine joints are because the y-axis is upward and here my y-axis is absolutely you know on the left side so that I have to change here also my y-axis has been flipped up and this is also been twisted so I will change and ha also uh, what if if I really want to I don't my I don't want that X axis to be my you know the primary axis how I can change that also for the entire joint chain so let's see now there are two three methods to manipulate those the first one is very simple that is uh, you can you know uh, manually rotate these uh, uh, coordinates uh, according to your personal choice like if you press, uh, press E and you just rotate them or you can hit J and you can straight rotate to make it absolutely uh, 90 degree values or something and also something like this you can rotate by hitting J just a discrete rotation uh, discrete rotation value you can change uh, just hit J just a minute okay fine now discrete rotational value you can change uh, from your tool settings rotational tool settings where is that yes the relative discrete rotate you can change the value from here also if I hit J you can see immediately by default that is toggling up the values and if you release my J key and the uh, discrete rotate is actually gone okay so <clears throat> fine so in that in that way we can rotate those um, local rotational hack axis and while I'm rotating you can see that uh, there's a script coming up that is uh, this is the script that we are actually using that is rotate dash r 
space dash os and the degree of xyz if you are not familiar with the mail scripting uh, just avoid this because this is very complicated one uh, not that complicated but definitely if you are not aware aware of the mail scripting it is it is not good for you so there's a second way and the third way that i recommend the most uh, if you are not you know want to manipulate or you you are scared about the manipulating the uh, the, the local rotation axis manually that i am not you know good at it that just uh, go to the object mode sorry yeah and i'm just getting back to my you know, original position okay fine now <clears throat> get back to the uh, object mode and select the joint you want to change your uh, local rotation axis and go to the skeleton and the orient joint option this is a very important one it's very very simple one and just hit those that at that particular axis that you, you really want to you know uh, facing towards your joint like here I want my X axis to be to, towards my joint change if I hit apply and you can see immediately the things has been uh, you know changed into my default positions so and there's another option which is a really important over here that uh, if you if you really want that particular selected joints to be oriented or you want your that uh, the child joints are also selected because I have already have a child right over here also so if I hit and apply it won't affect the last one because it's an absolutely single one you can see okay so for creating those last joints you have to you know uh, the option that uh, there is a, there is an option that's called orient joint towards the world if i hit on that and hit apply you can see immediately it's it is actually following its parent now that is very important one okay so select this i want my this joint to be affected according to my parent joint I remember if you if you are changing any kind of a joint that has absolutely a mid of a joint chain and you don't want to affect the child please switch off the orient joint if of selected joints over here otherwise it will affect entirely entirely you know oh, sorry entirely uh, you know entire chain for that you can see that's my objects has been you know affected uh, sorry the joints the child joints also been affected so I don't want them and uh, so I have to you know, switch off that orient joint, orient child, uh, sorry, orient child of selected joints, and hit apply. Oops, sorry. Okay. Now you can see this joint, this particular joint, the uh, the shoulder joint is actually following the clavicle. So that's how you can uh, change your uh, uh, particular any single joint to according to its uh, parent joint. Same thing is. I'm just switching off this. Okay, the same things happens over here also. I'm just I want my uh, last joint to be you know followed by uh, sorry last joint to be exactly uh, oriented according to my uh, according to its uh, parent joint like this over here. So select that particular joint, uh, orient joint to world and hit apply, and you can see this immediately it's uh, been you know uh, oriented according to its uh, parent joint. So these are the three options that were through which you can manipulate your joint orientation and also the local rotation axis. So hope you enjoy this. Thank you very much. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel for other updated and also our uh, follow us on Twitter and like our Facebook page. Thank you.